but I can't quite put my finger on it or my nose on it. <laughs> to grab my retractable, my retractable water, but I'm starting to get a little bit here, which I like to smile, so I'm not gonna stop smiling. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my March Boxy Charm box here for you today. So as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this box, tried out the products inside, so I'll be able to give you some little mini reviews and just give you my thoughts and opinions on the products in here. So let's jump into it. Okay, so the theme this month is sweet treats. It says sugar is sweet, but this box is sweeter. Um, it was interesting about this one. They don't have the like information about the different products on this card. Um, it says that you can go online, but I don't particularly have a login because I receive this as PR. So I wasn't able to log in to kind of learn about the products in this box. But if you subscribe to BoxyCharm, you can get on there and it says go to BoxyCharm.com, click on the box link and click on March 2016 box. So that will kind of like give you information about what's in your box. But I'm kind of having to go into this a little bit blindly, but um, that's okay. I mean, I'm just, I review and try out products all the time without little cards. So we're good. I'll tell you what I think about them from just trying them out and let's get to it. First off, there's a perfume in the box again this month, which I wasn't like, especially like jumping up and down about. I really did like the perfume last time. This one is okay. You know, perfume is such a personal preference. That's kind of you know, the challenge with the perfume is that everybody has different preferences of what they love. What one person really loves, another person can't stand, vice versa. There's a lot of neutral sort of scents that everybody likes or most people, blah, blah, blah. So this is the Catherine Maladrino Style de Paris. Style de Paris. Um, and it smells nice. Let me smell it again to remind myself. Yeah, it smells nice. What kind of gets me on this one is it almost, it's either too sweet that it's becoming a little bit like musky or it has a little bit of that like warm musky scent to it. I can't quite put my finger on it or my nose on it, <laughs> but it's one of those perfumes I would be afraid to wear that it might give me a headache, but I'm really sensitive to perfumes. So most people would probably be fine with this, but I'm gonna pass it on to a friend um, because I'd be a little bit afraid to wear it. But it's not like it's a horrible scent, but for me personally, it's not my favorite. And there's a brush in here. This is the Mistura Retractable Beauty Brush. And it says, please visit MisturaBeauty.com to see the entire line of Mistura products, um, which I think I've gotten this brush before in a BoxyCharm box or something really similar. But, um, so I didn't actually use this brush because I didn't want to dirty it up because I'm going to pass it on to somebody. It is a really nice, soft brush. I don't know why, but I don't really reach for retractable brushes very often. And that's a hard word for me to say, retractable brushes very often. I don't know why, because they're really convenient for travel. And especially like if you keep them in your, I need to try that. Maybe I'll hang on to this. Keep it in my purse for like powder touch-ups throughout the day, that's a really good idea. I think I might do that. <laughs> Cause I kind of forget about them. Like when I go to travel somewhere, like on a vacation, um, I forget to, bra to grab my retractable, my retractable brushes. But if I keep them in my purse, like for powder touch-ups, then that's a good idea. Cause this is a really soft brush. It's really nice quality. Um, I already gave the other one away to a friend. So maybe I will keep this one and use it in my purse. And I've also gotten this before in a box. This is the Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Color, and I do still have the original one that I got. So I pulled that out so that I could use that again and see what I thought about it, because I remember I liked it before. And it's a great eyebrow pencil. Like, I am wearing this today. I do have it with my um, NYX Tame and Frame Pomade, which I love. But I like to use some sort of a pencil to kind of like clean up. Now this pencil is a little bit dark for me um, to use all over my brows, but for some little like, kind of like cleaning it up and sort of like perfecting the shape of my brows, it's really good for that. But I would have to be careful using this all over my brows, it would be a little bit dark for me. But it is a pretty like neutrally sort of color. I think this would work for a lot of hair colors. It's kind of like, um, it's, not a, it's not like MAC lingering, 
but it's sort of like in that family where lingering works for a lot of different hair colors. I think that this would work for a lot of hair colors. Um, maybe just not like super warm hair colors because it's a pretty taupey, you know, very cool tone sort of a color. But I do like this pencil. Then I got an eye cream. This is the Clark's Botanicals Anti-Puff Eye Cream. First off, I really like the packaging on it. I think it's kind of like a little bit vintagey, but then also a little bit edgy with that sort of like cool looking font and the black and white. I just, I like the way it looks. Um, so it says it specifically targets stubborn puffiness, dark circles, and fine lines with a concentration of active botanicals and vitamins. The texture of the skin will be softened, smoothed with, softened, oh, doesn't have a comma, softened, smoothed with vitamins A, E, and isoflavin. Mm -hmm. While vitamin K will brighten the appearance of dark circles. So it says apply gently to the eye area morning and evening, follow with smoothing marine cream, can also be applied on smile lines and forehead frown lines. Oh, I didn't know that. I hadn't read that. So that's really cool. I did use this on my under eyes and I like it. Um, the pump pumps out too much. So be careful about that. Kind of reminds me of like the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer that gives you way too much. So just be really delicate when you're pumping it out that you don't like it. Even right now, I'm probably about to get too much. Oh, I did okay. So, you know, it's an eye cream, so you don't need very much. But I used it today and it did feel very nice on my under eyes. Like, it's not like it's necessarily cooling, but it's a gel, so it just automatically feels kind of cool on your under eyes. Um, and I do think it did a good job of kind of smoothing my under eyes, but not being heavy, especially under my makeup. So I really actually like this a lot. So I'm gonna try it on my forehead and my smile lines, which, I mean, I don't necessarily have smile lines yet, but I'm starting to get a little bit here, which, I like to smile, so I'm not gonna stop smiling, but um, yeah, I, I might try it there and see what happens, so I do really like this. And then lastly, what I was most excited about, some Makeup Geek shadows. I love Makeup Geek. Y'all know that if you watch my channel. I think Marlena makes just such good products. I love her eyeshadows especially, so you got two of them in here. So first off is the, I don't know if everybody got the same colors, but the two colors that I got, um, this one is in Cocoa Bear, which I already own Cocoa Bear in my giant Makeup Geek palette here. This is the actually a Shea Moisture palette that I put them all in. So there those are. Let me find Cocoa Bear. My chair is making really strange noises. Okay, here is Cocoa Bear. So it's a really beautiful... Oh my gosh. I love this color. It's a beautiful warm, just warm brown color. Oh my gosh. It's like a little bit rusty colored. It's beautiful. It's one of my favorites from her line. So I was excited to get that. So I'm going to save this one either for my kit or if I happen to run out of mine that I already own, but just beautiful. Love that. And one that I did not own, but I had thought about purchasing is I'm Peachless. And I'm actually wearing this today as my cheek highlight. And I think it is absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, just gorgeous. I think that this is technically in her duochrome line. Oh, it's so pretty. I have other swatches, like making my hands look dirty. So if you see, I just have makeup all over me. I'm makeup upped, makeup upped. Okay, so I'm Peachless is gorgeous. And it is kind of like a, I mean, it's a duochrome. So I don't know if it's even really picking up as beautiful as it is in person. In person, it's beautiful. It's peach, it's a little bit golden, but then it almost has this like, well, it definitely has a pinky kind of a cast. Like the shift looks either yellow, like gold or pinky to me or my eyes could be playing tricks on me, but I almost see purple. I could be way wrong. I don't know. It's just duochrome and beautiful and gorgeous. And I've worn it on my eyes. I love it on the eyes. I love it as a highlight. It's so pretty. I'm really excited about this. Okay, so that's everything that I got in my box. So since I wasn't able to look up the information, I'm not able to add up the value of the box, but it seems like a good one. I would say my favorites are definitely the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. 
I really do like this eye cream and I think that this is a good brow pencil. I think if you're looking for a brow pencil, this is a great one. So um, these two things I'm not thrilled about, but I am going to put this in my purse and see how that works. So anyway, I think this was a good box. I really did enjoy it. Probably not my absolute favorite, but I still think that it was a win. So I would love to know what you got in your box. Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!